Hello fellow YouTubers, well today I'm going to show you how to make um, a clan emblem for Guns the Duel in Adobe Photoshop CS3. Well, first off, I'm going to put the download link in my comment, or not my comment, in my in the video description. And so that should help you with getting Photoshop CS3 if you guys don't have it. But um, if you guys do have it, then I'll just start off with, or I'll just get right to it. Um, first off, when you have Photoshop installed, and you go to, well, what I like to do is go to deviantart.com, and I guess I'll make one for the clan named Cake, because, I don't know, I guess I just want to. So, what I do is I search stuff related to the topic, so say the clan was Ocean, you can choose anything that has like ocean or water or something like that so I'll just go ahead and search cake and for me I like to find something that's either really unique or just looks really cool and I think that um, I actually think this looks kinda unique so I'll hit up this and what I like to do is instead of saving the image I just copy image location and now the clan emblem size is supposed to be 64 by 64 but what I like to do is do 75 by 75 so that when you're in game and you're in a clan channel it doesn't show up so big and it like doesn't stretch out and stuff so when this is loaded and I like to maximize it that's just my um, control V or edit paste and what you're gonna have to do is press control and then T and what that does is brings up the transformation thing. Um, this is for, you can use this really for anything, but um, I just use it because it's easier to reduce the size of the emblem without like totally messing it up. Now regularly you can just go like this and all that, but what I want you guys to do, or what you should do at least, is if you hold shift and you drag the corner in, it keeps the aspect ratio, meaning that it keeps it so that it's the rectangle like it was in the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and just shrink that a little bit more. Oh, it's a little bit bigger, so I'll just go like that. And you know what, I'll just make this so that it's big enough. Perfect. Then you go, you go ahead and just press enter. Um, and now, well, what you can do is, if you make a new layer, which is Control Shift N, which is okay. What I like to do also on some of emblems or my emblems are, if you take the elliptical marquee tool, and you just select just a little bit like that, you take that new layer, you fill it with completely white, and at first it looks like that. So, ah, sorry. Then, it'll give it sort of a glossy effect if you just lower the opacity to about, I guess about 35 should do it. And see, it looks more like it's it's shiny up there and it's not as shiny in the bottom. And then, you can just go here, text tool, I don't have a lot of fonts because I just installed Windows 7. Um, I don't know, just choose a random font. Um, hold up, let me find something cool real fast. Hmm. Uh, I hate when my computer lags. Okay, so I think I might just use this font called Libre. It looks kind of cool and wacky, which is what you should look for if you find an emblem that's so like all those strict down or clans that are like words that nobody understands what they means, but they're the words. Just take that slap some text on it. Um, you could change the color, or what I like to do is just keep it white and go with a nice stroke on it. And so, oh, whoops. Put up black. And do that. And if you want, you could put it above the gloss, but I don't think it looks as cool. It doesn't give the full glossy effect. And there you go. There's an, oh, and also, what you can do is press control shift down again you add another layer um, zoom into about 
about 800% or you can see each individual pixel like that's two pixels select just the out make only one pixel for each thing so right there right click press select inverse and have your new layer selected and then take the fill tool and choose whichever color I like to do black personally but it, you can choose any color you want um, fill that in so that it has a one pixel border and two pixel borders don't really look that cool so right now it looks really really bold but I'll show you once I save it and if you save it as um, a regular JPEG it's not gonna look as nice as it or well it'll look fine but um, a 12 side like a 12 quality JPEG is actually a lot bigger of a file and than um, a PNG and what a PNG is is it's a high quality image that can be transparent too and um, it's uh, basically the same higher or the same quality as a JPEG it's just a lot less um, big in size so if you take this and you I hope it doesn't open it in okay just take this preview it and I'll show you guys what it looks like and see it has a nice one pixel border has cake everything's there nice glossy effect and it took about a couple minutes um, remember this is Valetta Guns um, youtube.com slash Valetta Guns I hope you guys subscribe, rate, and comment, so I'll see you next time.